I'm here to discuss with you recent developments as an MPP communication director. I wanted to find out from you what you make of the incident that happened at Kasua with regards to how our son. What, what, what was going to be found, what happened from your angle? Yeah, it is unfortunate. Uh, all this got to do with people resisting, uh, you know, people transferring their votes uh, to places from one point to the other. And some people thought uh, they were not going to agree on that. That's a legal matter, OK? And so people move and they transfer their votes. And the issue is, you know, the EC doesn't allow uh, mass movement of people, busing of people to the place and all that. And, and normally, when people bus people to a place, uh, it creates suspicion and mistrust and all that. And so uh, I believe that's the disagreement in the melee of disagreements and co uh, the unfortunate incident of stabbing somebody came up. And, and later, uh, there was also the issue of a parliamentary candidate having a gun on her and all that. You know, it's, it's, it's sad that when we are transferring votes, that shouldn't be chaotic because I'm living in Accra. I've been transferred to Kasua. I need to move my votes there. If I cannot travel back to Accra to vote on the day of election, it is just proper as that window of opportunity for us to transfer our vote. But unfortunately, most of us seem to misunderstand the process. It should be just uh, something cool and normal. You go to the office, you transfer your votes, and you go away. But unfortunately, agents, we, we, we have party agents there, and then they seem to have difficulty understanding why A, B, or C should transfer the vote to the constituency. You get it? And that brings that chaos and anarchy. Uh, I heard the EC says they're not going to allow agents to be there, but the NDC disagrees. I think the EC at IPAC should be able to convince all the political parties as to why there shouldn't be agents there. But I think transfer should be between you and the Electoral Commission. But for transparency and, and trust's sake, uh, if the party have their agents there, I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, elections will be in December five months away, basically. With this record of chaotic scenes, are you worried? Yes, everybody should be worried. Everybody should be worried that uh, elections, we are going to express our views on who should lead us. You know, fortunately for us, every four years, we go back to the polls. And four years just come <laughs> with a knuckle of the fingers. So I don't see why people should make it do or die, you know. We, need, we have a country to build. It's, it's views. I disagree with your views. The Ghanaian people think A should continue or A should take over from B. Why should we fight? Four years, we'll have the opportunity to come back to sell your message. And so uh, these things and call mistrust and the suspicion is too much. Uh, I think it's time we, we do something about it as political parties and, and people of Ghana. But then I don't think it's going to translate uh, into the election day proper because it's across the nation. And so each constituency is managing its own affairs. And, and elections are won and lost, as they say, at the polling station. But I admit that the coalition center is also a critical point because that's where you add up the numbers. And in the process of adding, things happen or may happen. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. So, um, with regards to this particular incident, the last time MPP was having its parliamentary primaries, we had an incident where Howard Kumsin was in the news for holding or having a weapon, and we, they, we agree that nothing was done. However, with this parliamentary candidate, she's been picked up for having um, a weapon. Do you think you have been biased somehow, and why hasn't um, Howard Kumsin be held accountable over the previous incident? Well, well, Howard was invited by the police. The Central Region Police invited her. Yeah, she went to the police and all that, and she admitted she was the one who had the gun and fired it. But they were saying she wasn't the one. You get it? They said, yeah, yes, yes. So, and, and people were saying she wasn't the one who fired the gun. It was one of her bodyguards. But she said she fired it and all that. So she went to the police and then, you know, that's, that's, so this one, definitely you'll be invited once you have it and cool. If, if it's well, you've registered for your personal protection and cool, that's a, you go explain it and you go away. So I don't think that should give us cause for worry. But taking it to, yes. 
bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, taking the gun to those places, you know. I think she should have a bodyguard. And if you have a bodyguard for your protection, uh, we shouldn't be having this uh, hoo ha about somebody having a gun. But because the scale, there was chaos of the place, uh, it gives cause for worry. Uh, yeah, so what, what have you put in, as a party, you need to be concerned because um, we have election in just five, um, five months away. If that constituency keeps having records of chaotic things, it should be a point of worry for you, isn't it? It definitely is. Are you concerned? Definitely what is are you no, no, we're concerned. But we know our candidate is on top of issues. She's a strong woman. And, and you know, but that continues. The, the, unfortunately, the person who was stabbed happens to be her son. You get it, and, and you know the trauma she's going to go through and all that. So it tells that we should all do our things properly. It's unfortunate that her son has been stabbed, but who it could have been any other person, right? And so let Kaswa. Uh, it's a red zone already. Uh, Electoral commission and the, national, the police, national security, they've all flagged that place a red zone. And so let's see how we can make it uh, a normal zone than always having chaos there. And and maybe it's because there are a lot of settlers in that enclave. And so that's also part of the challenges. You know, a lot of crimes emanate yes. from that. You know, and so the police have created a whole region for that zone. Okay, yes, central, the east, whatever, central region, you know, Kaswa is now a region yeah, within the enclave. So in terms of security management. So uh, let's see how we can tame or bring down these chaotic scenes when it's election time and registration times. Mm -hmm.